Hey everybody, Melissa here. So today I'm in LibreOffice Writer and I'm going to show you how to create address labels. Now I'm going to show you how to create both return address labels and mailing and shipping labels. So let's go ahead and get started. So there are a couple ways we can create return address labels. We can do them manually or we can kind of automate the process, but let me show you manually first. If we go to File, New, Labels, we can actually type in here, your company, one, two, three, your street, your city, Kentucky, and put in the zip. Now on our options, we want to make sure it says entire page, and we want to make sure that it's got synchronized contents checked. And back on our labels, we want to tell it sheet, because if you have an inkjet or a laser jet or anything like that, then you're putting in sheets for it to create your labels. And then we're going to tell it the brand. And I'm going to do Avery letter size, and then mine is like 5160. And then I'm going to tell it new document. And there is your address labels. And then you can print off as many pages as you need to print off. Now let's look at how we can automate it. So to automate it, the first thing we want to do is come up here to Tools, go to Options, and we want to fill in our company information. So we're going to do your company, and we're going to go 123, your street, and your city, Kentucky, 40000. And we're going to tell it Apply and OK. Now if we go to File, New, Labels, and we click here and we tell it Address, look what it does. It brings in whatever we typed in into our options. Now it does have a space here. We can just remove that. And that way there's no spaces in between there. Or you can leave it. That's up to you. And then of course our brand is going to stay the same. We still want a sheet. Our options are going to be the same, entire page and synchronized contents. The only difference is we do not have to type this in every time. We can just click on address, it fills it in, new document, and there's your address labels. So now let's look at shipping labels and mailing labels that have different addresses. So I have my mailing or shipping addresses in a LibreOffice Calc spreadsheet. So the first thing I want to do is make sure this is saved. So we'll just go to File, Save As, and it'll take us to the location it's at, tell it to save. And in this case, since I've already got it done, I'm just going to tell it yes to replace it. So now what we have to do is we have to create a database. So don't worry when I say we have to create a new database. LibreOffice makes it easier than any other Office suite to create these from within any of their applications. So it's really pretty easy. We're going to go to File, New, Database, and then we're going to tell it to connect to an existing database, and that means we're going to create this database from our LibreCalc spreadsheet. So we're going to do our drop down here, and we're going to tell it Spreadsheet. And then we're going to tell it Next, and even though we have this open in the background, we need to tell the database where to find it. So we're going to browse, and I've got mine in this temp folder, and I'm going to tell it that document. Then I'm going to tell it next, and it's going to register the database, which is what we want it to do, and we're going to say finish. And now it's asking us, where do you want me to save it? Well, I'm going to tell it in the same place, and I'm just going to call it new database and tell it to save it. And now it brings up our database. Now what we want to do from here is we want to go to File, New, Labels, and we're going to tell it our database is New Database because that's what we called it. So whatever you call your database is what you'll put here. Our table is going to be Sheet 1, and our database field is going to be what order do we want these fields to be over here. So we're going to say Name, and then we're going to hit Enter. Then we're going to say Street Address, Had It. Hit Enter. Then we're going to do City, State, and Zip. Add it. And then, of course, our brand is going to be the same. We want it to be the sheet because that's what we use. Our options are entire page and synchronize contents. 
Now you can do some formatting in here. You can change your horizontal pitch, your top margins, bottom margins, depending on how much information you have on your address label. But for this, I don't need to change any of those. So I'm going to tell it new document. Now when it brings this up, as you can see, it opened it back up in Writer. And it doesn't have our information from our database. This is showing us what the layout's going to look like. So let's just say that we wanted these centered. If you notice, we have a synchronized label button here. Let's highlight them and let's just say we want this centered. And hit synchronize labels. It centered all of them. So let's just say we do that and we're like, no, that's not really what I wanted to do. So just highlight it, put it back, synchronize, and it'll put them all back. So any kind of formatting you do here, let's just say you want to bold it. Synchronize your label. Let's just say you want to put it back. So any kind of formatting you do, the size, the color, do it to your first one, click synchronize labels, and it does it to all of them. Now if you actually want to see what is in your database here, we're going to go to File, Print, and when this box pops up, it's just asking us basically, do you want to take what's in your database and superimpose it here so you can see what it's going to look like? Yes, we do. And this is what it's pulling from our database. It gives us a preview. And we're going to tell it instead of a printer, because we want to preview it and not print it just yet, we're going to tell it a file and as a single document and tell it OK. And now it's going to ask us, is this where you want me to save it? I do. And I'm going to name this one Address Labels. And I'm going to tell it to save it. Mail Merge, done. Now if I go back to that folder and pick up Address Labels and open it, there is everything from my database. And that's how you can create either return address labels or mailing and shipping address labels within LibreOffice Writer. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this in the future, please be sure to subscribe to my channel before you go. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until then, thanks so much for watching.